Alrighty, good morning everybody. Welcome back. Got something a little different going on today. Uh, we got some pork belly here. Uh, pork belly is obviously um, bacon, but what we're going to do with this is uh, do some pork belly burnt ends. And uh, the way I'm going to get this prepped up, I'm not going to do it on camera, but uh, the way I'm going to get it prepped up is uh, just pretty much cut these into two to two and a half finger length strips uh, both ways and make little cubes out of them and they're going to be burnt ends. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, the rub we're going to use on them today, I'm going to stick with the suckle busters. Uh, today we're going to use the uh, the hog waller, and uh, remember with the suckle busters, there is no bad stuff. So besides that, I'm going to go ahead and get these prepped up, and uh, I will check back in before I throw them on the grill, so we'll see you then. Up. You can see I'm cooking. I'm gonna cook them right on this frog mat. Uh, I did order uh, three pieces of these um, from Rec Tech, and I uh, just had to cut out. I had to make it like just like I don't know half an inch uh, more narrow, and it fits right in the grill pretty perfectly. But I gotta get the grill going, so these are gonna sit out until I do that. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and start this up a little bit different today. Um, I did a little upgrade on the RT300, the Rec Tech Mini, as some of uh, you know it's known as. So uh, we can go right to control. Yes, I named my uh, my grill Dwight from the office, and we can power it on. Got to type yes. There you go, grill is on. That's cool. Uh, Wi-Fi again. Um, it's not a feature that is 100% necessary, but it is a feature that I really do like having. Hence the fact why I upgraded that controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the rec tech heat up. We're gonna heat it up to 200 degrees, and uh, I will give you a shot of these when I put them on. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, done at the Rec Tech. Uh, first things first, I did do a few mods to this. Yeah, I, uh, I actually did a mod. But you can see that uh, I got the Rec Tech controller in there. It's got the Wi-Fi. It's got the uh, the two prep, uh, bleep, temp probe spots for your uh, for your meat probes. I'm not using them today, obviously. We're doing pork belly burnt ends. Uh, you know, hooking this thing up to my Wi-Fi system here at home was easy squeezy. Uh, another mod that I went ahead and did is, uh, oh, you can see it right there on the side, uh, the older Rec Techs, like the... The Rectech Mini and the RT680, you know, didn't come with a, uh, a gasket or anything to put your, uh, your temp probes through. And the newer ones, there's a hole with a little metal flat. Well, you know, I own my Weber Smoky Mountains, and these come standard on Weber Smoky Mountains, and uh, I really like that. So, you know, that way you don't got to have anything in your lid. And then uh, I did go ahead, and I had to remove the uh, two pieces of diamond plate my dad had on there. I was having some issues with this grill to where it would smoke like crazy out of the pellet hopper, and I uh, called the customer service. Um, and he was like, it's a ventilation issue, you know, big time. He's like, take those two pieces of diamond plate off, I'm sure you're fine, and uh, we have been. So this is obviously just for, uh, if I'm using it and it's raining out or snowing out, it'll keep the snow out of the grill. But uh, besides that, like I said, we're gonna be cooking at 200 for the first portion of this cook. I'll give you a quick peek here at the burnt ends. There they be. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close this thing down. And uh, with me cooking so low, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna run this probably for at least three, four hours, and then uh, I'm gonna pick back up. These are all gonna get put in a pan with uh, a bunch of goodies and then they're gonna get covered. So I will pick back up then. Alrighty, we have been on for four hours. And just a quick note, um, with this new controller, you know, what's kind of weird and kind of caught me off guard is that, you know, on a day like today, when I set this thing at 200 with that old controller, you know, the fan would cycle on and cycle off. Uh, it does not do that. Um, and you know, you can hear that auger, that auger runs once every about five seconds and drops a little bit of pellets in there. But I will say, even though this thing isn't cycling on and off, this is smoking like crazy. So without further ado, give you a quick look at the pork belly burnt ends. Let's see, it's just pouring out smoke. Looking pretty good. You can see, you know, they shrunk up quite a bit. And uh, yeah, these are gonna be about where I want them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these all off and uh, I'll pick back up upstairs and I'll show you what the next step of the cook is. So we'll see you then. All right, we're upstairs. Uh, you can see what we went ahead, what I went ahead and did is uh, just transferred them all into a disposable pan. Um, and that was that was hard work, so I just decided to take a little bit of drinkable beer here, a little IPA called uh, Big Doinks by Fair State Brewing. Uh, so now what we're going to do to prep these up is uh, we're going to take about a stick and a half of butter, just kind of plop these things wherever I want. So these things will kind of all melt down. And I mean, this is going to be pretty much identical. Um, everything we're going to put in here is pretty much the same thing that I do when I do like 3-2-1 or 4 one, one ribs. Um, so the next, is, the next thing would be some brown sugar. And uh, this is going to be a real technical way of measuring this out, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll go a little bit more. So that was 
what, one, two, like three little handfuls or whatever you want to say. Make that four. Alright, that's good. And then we're going to go ahead and, as Malcolm Reed says, some, some honey for the money. He doesn't say it like that. I don't know. It was a bad impersonation. But uh, let's go ahead and just take some honey. And then uh, last thing is uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cover the top of this, uh, this whole pan up with aluminum foil. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick it back on the Rectec. And uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to do these at 200 the whole time. So I'm going to let it go at 200 probably for like another two hours wrapped up like that. Then I'll pop it open and see what it looks like. So uh, maybe I'll pick back up when I'm opening these up and checking them out. But like I said, foil on top, covered, and then going back on the rack deck at 200. So uh, we'll pick back up in a little bit. So we are back and take a look at these pork belly burnt ends. Man, they look good. They smell fantastic. But I'm going to do one more thing to them. Uh, I'm going to dip them in a glaze. You can see I, I already did most of them. Uh, real quick, just to go over to glaze. Uh, it's about a half a jar of uh, grape jelly. A full bottle, regular size bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's. And then probably five or six dashes of that Tapatio you guys know I like. And uh, I'm just picking these up with a toothpick. And I'm dipping them right in the sauce hoping they don't fall up the toothpick I mean because toothpick tender is kind of an understatement these things are yeah they're done but uh, I do want to give them a nice little glaze so that is what I'm gonna do let's get that last one done and then uh, I'm gonna get this one dipped and then uh, these are going to go back under Rectech. You can see I transferred them over to like a little drying rack thing. But they're going to go back under Rectech for about another 15-20 minutes. And then I'm going to pull them off and uh, we will pick back up one more time when it's time to eat. So we'll see you Alrighty, we are back. It's time to eat. Give you a quick close shot here. Looking pretty dang edible. But uh, real quick, I'm going to go over to cook times. Uh, pork belly burnt ends. Uh, 200 the whole time. We did 4 hours on smoke. And then we put them into a pan, wrapped them up with a bunch of uh, goodies for two hours, then pulled them off, dipped them in a glaze, and let them go for another 25 minutes. So total cook time today was six hours and 25 minutes. Um, you know, we used the uh, Suckle Busters Hog Waller as a rub, and let's go ahead and pick one out here to try. Man, that toothpick just goes right through it. Let's go ahead and see if I can give you a close-up here. It's not. It's, it, yeah, it, yeah, it's not focusing because it wants to focus on the rest of them, but let's go ahead and try it. Holy crap. Wow. That, that literally just melts in your mouth. That is fantastic. And I got to do say, um, you know, usually when I cook bigger cuts of meat, you know, I can somewhat taste the rub. But uh, on these pork belly burnt ends, that Suckle Busters hog waller. That is, uh, that is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and try to get you guys a nice close-up and see if it works. Uh, okay. Camera's not focusing on it. Oh, there it is. There it is. But besides that, um, everything's good about this cook. I'm going to go ahead and eat. You guys and girls have a fantastic night. We will see you next time. Hey, and... Uh, I'm getting kind of sort of close to 2,000 subscribers, so when I do that, I am going to do a pretty big giveaway. And uh, to be qualified for that, you have to like my Facebook page. So, you know, besides liking my YouTube page at Mad Horse BBQ, uh, hop over on Facebook. I do have a Facebook page, Mad Horse BBQ. And uh, once I hit that 2,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh, so besides that, make sure you subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat. Uh, Skull Vikings, have a good night. We'll see you later.